Hey guys, welcome to How To Do Computers, I'm Mike, and today we're going over installing virtual machines in VMware ESXi 7. So in our last video, we installed ESXi and got everything up and running. I'll be sure to link that video down below, but now we should be ready to get started spinning up virtual machines. So first, go ahead and make sure that you have the ISO file for your OS you want to install downloaded onto the machine you're using to access ESXi. We'll be uploading it via the browser here. In my case, I have an evaluation copy of Server 2019 already downloaded. Once we're logged into the ESXi host, go ahead and go down to Storage, and then go to your Data Store. Go to Data Store Browser. Here, we're going to create a new folder, and name that ISO. Hit Create Directory. So this is where we're going to store our ISO files. Go ahead and hit Upload in the top left. And then we'll select server 2019 here, open, and it will begin the upload. You can see up here in the top right the progress of the upload. Once that's finished, we can close out of here and then go up to our host. We'll select create slash register VM. Make sure that create a new virtual machine is selected. Hit next. We'll enter a name. Ours will be SVR2019-01. Compatibility will stay the same here. Our guest OS will be Windows, and the OS version will be Windows Server 2019. Hit Next. We can store it on the data store we created earlier. So for now, I'll leave it with two CPUs and four gigs of RAM. I'll reduce the hard disk to 50 gigabytes. That can always be expanded later. Under CD DVD drive, we want to choose a data store ISO file and then we'll select the ISO that we just uploaded. One more thing I almost forgot is under hard disk, make sure that you have thin provisioned selected. With thin provisioning, it will incrementally increase the size of the hard disk as data on the virtual hard disk is used, which will save your data store some room. Hit next, give everything a once over and then finish. Now we'll go down to virtual machines and then select the VM you just created. This page will show us a little bit of information about the machine. To launch the VM, you'll click in this window right here, and it'll ask us to start hitting a key as soon as we launch, so we'll go ahead and do that. This will load into our Windows installer. I won't go over the entire installation of Windows here, as that should be covered in a different video, so I'll skip right to the point where Windows is installed and configured. Now that our Windows Server is installed, there's one more thing we need to do. Go ahead and close out of this console. And if you look down here under General Information, you'll see that there's a bunch of missing info. What we need to do is install VMware tools to allow ESXi to see the resources on the client machine. So here in General Information, go to Actions, Guest OS, and then Install VMware Tools. What that'll do is that will mount an ISO image to the virtual machine. So let's open that back up. And then here we'll go to explore this PC. And you'll see the VMware Tools ISO has been virtually mounted. Double click on that. And it should open an install wizard. We'll click next, typical, next, and install. And then we'll click finish. And it will ask us to restart. We'll go ahead and do that now. And once our reboot is finished, you can close out of the console. Hit refresh up here. The information down here under general info should be filled in. You'll see the host name and the IP address. You can get storage information about the disk, the amount that's free, the amount that's used, etc. That should be about it. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.